When we are doing math questions, we often need to deal with some really complicated graphs. And these graphs often take us plenty of time to draw. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that is designed to draw graphs. This tool is called Desmos. When we are doing math questions, we often need to deal with some really complicated graphs. And these graphs often take us plenty of time to draw. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that is designed to draw graphs. This tool is called Desmos. It is an online graphing calculator that can be used for free. So after we log in, we just need to press this button, Graphing Calculator to bring us into the page where there's two parts. On the left part of the page, um, this is the part where we type in the formula and functions. And to the right, um, this is the part where, we, uh, where the graph will be shown. So if we type, for example, y equals to x plus 6, it shows up like this, which, which is really fast, to be honest. This place for us to write multiple functions uh, and graphs. So if we want another graph, we just simply press this plus button. And we can add an expression, for example, y equals to x minus 1. Uh, yeah, so it, it can appear at the same time. There's also times when we are required to draw a graph that ca cannot be typed on our keyboard. In this case, we can use the online keyboard in Desmos. We can use the electronic keyboard in Desmos. So, for example, if we want to type y equals to square root x we can we just need to click square root sign and type x and it will appear on the graph um also you can zoom zoom in and zoom out for you to see the graph more clearly here there's a variety a variety of items that we can add to the graph, let's say a table. If we get a table of values, for example, x equals to 2 and y equals to 4, x equals to 4 and y equals to 8. So it will show you the dot so you can line up it together in the real life um, to get the graph. If we want to save it, we can press this save button and press save and it will be saved want to see our previous graph we just need to press here so we can access to it okay um that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this please leave a like and subscribe I'll see you next time.